Hey everybody, welcome to the 1804 Show, Chapter 2. I'm your host, Dollar Will, and this is another episode of 1804 History. Yeah, make sure y'all like, comment, and subscribe to the channel, the 1804 Chapter 2. And let's get it. <laughs> it's funny, I always say that, bro, but fuck it. You know, I, I ain't perfect. I'm on the human. But yeah, um, you know, I just love doing these history segments. <laughs> you know, it's just something about knowing about the past, and it just makes you appreciate the present. Because if you don't know the past, you won't have the future. And I just think it's really important that a lot of our people in this current era really know these people who been through some shit and sacrificed their lives in order for us to be able to have freedom today, to be able to have dirty cops and racist cops go to jail for killing us. And uh, but yeah, um, I wanted to continue on with Red Summer of 1919 because that was one of the summers that was the most bloodiest, the most craziest in record. And they don't really discuss this in the public schools or they don't really talk about this type of stuff in the history books. So I felt like since this particular man had the same name as me, it really shocked me. It really was like one of those things that is terrifying, shocking, and just disgusted by what happened to him. Um, William Brown was his name, and he was from Omaha, Nebraska. And he was 41 years old and he was just pretty much was a man that was at the wrong place at the wrong time. And he was accused of rape of a 19 year old by the name of Agnes Lobeck. And just one of those cases of another white woman accusing another black man of raping her without evidence, without witnesses without any particular motive just wanted to blame a, a black man because of the fact that she was you know being a thought and they want to be looked at as a, a hoe so and this happened a lot back in them days and this particular story i respect the sheriffs the deputies the mayor for defending this man, it got crazy. It got real crazy because of the fact that it was over 15,000 people that was waiting outside the courtroom when he got arrested for it. And before they even arrested him, because they knew that he didn't do it, it was just the fact that they had to make an arrest based off the fact that they didn't want to riot, but the riot still occurred, whether they wanted to or not. So they took him in, locked him up, booked him. So he was waiting on trial in the holding cell. And townspeople found out about it. And people from local counties, from local cities, found out about the situation. So they went up to the courthouse to get him out so they could teach him a lesson. Because back then, as a black man, you would be lucky to go to trial. You'd be lucky to even make it throughout the night. And he was just pretty much a scapegoat. You know, they, and they just wanted to kill him just to... You know, teach the other colors in the city a lesson. 
And to me, I just always felt like when you hear stories like that on how they always ganged up on us, they always came in thousands against one of us. And that shit just really be pissing me off just off the the conditions of, you know, how could you do some shit like that? Like, but I respect the police for um, trying to fight off the mob. You know, they used water hoses. They used um, every weapon that they could. But the mob just enlarged. It was just too much of them. They even broke in hardware stores to get bullets and get rifles and stuff. Just, um, you know, try to get them out of there. So eventually they made it to where Will Brown was being held and got him out from under the bed. And they was beating him on the way outside. And they literally, you know, killed him. You know, they shot him a hundred times. They pretty much cut off his ears, cut off his fingers, cut off his toes, and, and shot him a hundred times. But before they did that, the mayor got into the situation and he pretty much was like, well, if, if you want him, you're going to have to take me too. So they lynched the mayor before they was able to get Willie Brown. And they both um, was hung on the same tree. <clears throat> and they took a picture while they set him on fire, while he was already dead. And they took a, the famous picture and I will have it on the thumbnail when I put this on my YouTube channel. But it's a famous picture of them standing around, hundreds of people standing around, smiling, while this man's corpless body is being burned. So the aftermath of it was the girl was lying. Everybody knew the bitch was lying, but they just wanted to kill a black man like they always done. And it's just what pisses me off is 15,000 people ganged up on one man. Just shows the cowardness of these um, white folks, man, back in them days. And, and I'm not talking about no white folks now. You know, but hey, man, the truth is the truth, man. Y'all ancestors were some bitches. So we have to clarify that. We have to let it be known. Just to gang up on them person just shows that you're not the bug coward. And it's just one of those stories like um, to be named after this man um, really humbles me a lot. Um, to be remembered in that fashion, it just gives you just that sense of my mom picked the perfect name for me. And I'm not only named after him, but I'm named after my grandfather's brother, which is my grand uncle. His name was William H. Brown. And he was lynched in Mississippi. And I'm going to ask my cousin about that because my cousin would be looking up our family tree. So I got to get him to look up some information about my grand uncle. 
because his name was William Henry Brown. He was lynched when he was 19 years old. And my mom didn't even know this. So for me to be the second William Brown in my family, like, <laughs> it's just like one of those things that you feel like you was reincarnated in a way. So I just have those goosebumps and those chills when you find out about things like that. But at the end of the day, man, I'm, I feel so bad for that man who was innocent, who didn't do anything, but yeah, he just was killed all because of lying assholes, man, and And women still scandalous to this day. But I do respect the the sheriff's department and the mayor for trying to help them out. Because they was risking their lives as well. But they they wouldn't stop until they lynched the black person a black man that night, they wouldn't stop. So, uh, that's the end of the story. But, rest in peace to the ancestor, William Willie Brown. Rest in peace to my grand uncle, William Henry Brown. As the William Brown now, I'm going to rock this shit. I'm going to make sure that y'all remember it in good graces. But yeah, everybody, that's the end of this story. Make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe to the YouTube channel, The 1804 Show Chapter 2. And peace, I'm out. Have a good night.